Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episode 583. Uh, we're on Punk Hazard, right? There's, everything's happening. <laughs> we know now that the master is not Dr. Vegapunk. So I'm, I'm operating under the assumption that uh, he is one of the seven warlords, one of the new seven warlords, or someone who is connected to the warlords, just based on what the samurai has been saying to us. The samurai has been chopped up into little pieces. He said that someone cut him up. Sounds like law. I don't see why he would be involved in this. So I'm not sure. But it very much looks like his, the effects of his devil fruit. Although it's strange that his, his legs can talk. <laughs> his legs seem to be able to talk separate to what his head's saying, okay? I didn't know that was part of it, if that is indeed the law's devil fruit. So, I'm thinking it's, it's probably, if it's, if, if it's not anything to do with law and that devil fruit, then it must be something to do with the, maybe the experiments that's going on on this island and this facility. They've got a bunch of kill, yeah, a bunch of children, a bunch of children being kept in this room, which seems very creepy. Where right? you know Nami, Sanji, Chopper, and Frankie have just discovered them. Okay, then we have strange like people on this island that seem to be like centaur forms of different animals. We've got a giraffe man, we've got a jaguar man. And then there seems to be a harpy lady. So there's a loads of different like human animal kind of hybrids here. So is that the result of these experiments as well? I don't know. Does the samurai being chopped up maybe have something to do with this master? And something to do with his devil fruit? Because it looks like a logia, right? Loads of things happening. Obviously, we know that this island is the way it is because of Alkaji and Akainu. We know that before that, four years ago, it was a place where it released a bunch of poison gas because of what something happened with Vegapunk. The people that are inhabiting it now do not have anything to do with Vegapunk. Um, but it looks like they came in after the Akainu and Alkaji fight. And now Smoker and Tashiri are on their way to Punk Hazard as well. So that's where we are. Everything's going all over the place, right? Let's get into it and see if we get some more answers in this episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has it comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 583. Let's go. Yeah, there seems to be a mix of like normal and like giant children in here as well. Oh, and oh, that's right, the, the samurai's looking for his son, isn't he? Is he going to be here? Oh, no, I don't think it's something like that now. <laughs> oh, yeah, how are they going to react to Frankie? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's like a big action figure. <laughs> mhm, mm mhm. Mm oh my god! Right, okay, yeah. So the boys are all drawn to to Frankie, and the girls are <laughs> going for Chopper. <laughs> okay, yeah. Frankie's having a great time. <laughs> oh, this is fun, happy moment. But I, I just remember where we are. So this better not be about to get dark here. Yeah, where's where's this guy's son? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Yeah, how are we gonna get across here? I love how the two of them are just smiling like, yeah, just, just carry him across. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, Zoro's game. Yeah. Oh, you got something that can help us here? Oh my god. Yeah, that's great as well. But if you had this, then why were you, why were you complaining? Just give us, give us this sooner. Yeah. Who stops the man now? Like he's, he's got, he's got a great bag of tricks. Land of snow cones. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. You're going from lava to ice. Oh man. I hope at some point we're going to get to see the actual, what the fight was like between Alkaji and uh, Akainu. Oh god, these guys are back. Oh no. Oh dear. What's this? Who's he gonna... Yeah, who's this gonna bring about now? Oh, what's the boss gonna look like? Is he just talking about the master? Oh. Oh! Is that a giant? Oh man, are these all centaurs as well? Okay. What's this guy gonna look like? Is that the salmon? Oh, they think Zoro's the samurai? Cut out people. So was it was it one of was it one of these people that was on the emergency call then? Okay, so do the kids know what's going on? No. Okay, right, okay, kids explain to us what's happening here. Nami? Oh yeah, Chopper. Chopper interested in that. No, I don't know. Why would Nami just leave them? There's, there's going to be another meaning behind it. There's no way Nami is not going to help these kids. Nah, these guys. Shady as hell. Oh. Oh, that gas again. That's what he's talking about. What is happening? What is wrong with these kids? What is happening right now? <sighs> yeah. I, I don't think it's... I think we're going to have to... We're going to hatch a plan. We're going to save these kids. Obviously. I think Nami's just trying to get a bearing on the situation right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. We're going to help. Like, I know we're going to help them. It's just how... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So the kids know where they are. Mm -hmm. That's going to strike a chord with Nami. Yeah. Okay, Nami. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I understand what they're saying. Like, we need, to, <laughs> we need to get all the information before we act rashly here. True, but... Yeah, oh yeah, showing the tattoo. Think about her childhood, Sanji. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because it's because it's Nami saying this, Sanji's gonna go with it. Sanji. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, it's Sanji. Oh, it's Sanji. Oh, man. I thought that was them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sanji's getting serious. See you later. Yeah. The light spiral eyebrows now. Yeah, the samurai. Put some respect on Sanji. Oh, all the boys are going to go crazy here when they see, <laughs> they see Frankie do this. Let me see it. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's a smart move. Yeah, the kids go, kids go with, with Nami and Chopper. Let the let the heavy hitters stay behind. Take care of this. <laughs> Come on, Sanji. Mhm. Mm oh, here we go. Is this master going to show up though? That's the question. Brooks building a snowman. <laughs> Brooks building a town of snowmen. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the samurai's torso here now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And based on the size of his legs, this guy is going to be tall. <laughs> right. Okay. We didn't get much information on a, uh, what they're doing with these kids on Punk Hazard. It seems like... Oh, I don't know. Like, they said that they were sick. That we were sick. We're not sick anymore. That kind of caught uh, Chopper's attention, obviously. But why... If they're saying they're not sick anymore, why are they being kept? Yeah, I, I don't believe... That's why they're there. It's strange. I, I, I think it's got. Uh, oh, I was going to say, is it going to get as dark as I'm thinking? Because like you know, experimenting on these kids. But then I think of like Oda's tackling these heavy subjects now. You know, we got into we got into the slate all the slavery stuff in the last arc. So you know, racism. It's just how. What is this master going to be up to with these kids? The fact that this samurai is here looking for his son, Momonosuke? Momonosuke. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he's looking for him. I, I'm guessing he wasn't there because he kept shouting and asking for him, but nobody, nobody said anything. Um... So, is there other rooms in this place that have kids in them? That's disturbing, but oh, I wonder what they need them for. You know, it's, it doesn't, oh, you know, if it's sickness, like... I don't know, because there's uh, there's weird centaur people here, there's like harpy women, you know, human hybrid. 
people, there's a samurai that's been chopped into little pieces. It just, and this master just seems shady as hell, right? Shady as hell. They clearly don't want the, the Marines and the world government to know what they're up to. So I don't think it, I don't think it is the world government. I think it's quite clearly, if, if, if the master is not a warlord himself, it is associated with the warlords. Because they didn't want to get rid of the marines, they just wanted to kind of keep them, keep them out of the way. So I think they want the protection that they have from being, you know, affiliated with the warlords, affiliated with the world government, but don't want to, you know, it's, it's that same kind of thing as Crocodile and Alabasta I was talking about, where he's like, I'm up to some shady stuff, I don't want them to know the stuff that I'm up to, but I still want to keep up the the appearance of being the, the good warlord and working with working with them. Okay. I, I knew we were gonna help these kids, you know, like but I understood what they were saying as well. You know, from like from like Sanji's point of view of kinda of like, listen, like we don't we don't know what the situation is here. We don't know what's going on with these kids. We don't know if it is actually a, you know, they're kids, they don't know maybe they are genuinely sick, they're here being treated. Let's you know, let's get out of here first, get our bearings, find out what's happening here before we make any rash decisions. Understandable, you know. It's like you'd be, if, if you woke up in a room and then you kind of got out and you're, there's these people in with these gas masks and then you go into this creepy nursery and there's kids there who, who are saying that they were sick. It is... It is dodgy where you're like, oh, right, okay, wait a minute, let's let's get the let's get all the puzzle pieces before we start here. Um Yeah. So the there's a group of people waiting on Luffy's group. Someone called the boss. He seems to have the centaurs there. So hmm. The boss is different from the master then, a very big person by the looks of it, but it sounds, for, for my, because they're over on the cold side, right? So, and the way he spoke about what happened to them with the samurai, I'm guessing that it was one of the centaurs that made the emergency call that we heard. Um, so that makes me think then maybe it wasn't the law I keep kind of like obviously like uh, his his devil fruit it looks like it looks like it was his devil fruit that was capable of something like this, but from the time scale of all this happening, it looks like this samurai has been cut up on this cold part of the island. His body has been scattered, so his head was in the cell with them. His torso's fighting Brook right now on the cold side. His legs were on the on the lava side, attached to a dragon. So I'm thinking maybe it, it's got nothing to do because, like, it would have had to have happened here on this island. So it must have something to do with the people here, like with the master, and with I don't know if someone has a devil fruit that's capable of this as well. Or if it's a result of these experiments. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see, guys. But more questions. Just more questions, you know. We, we didn't really get much answers. I love the in interaction with the kids. <laughs> with, like, the boys all, the boys all, you know, gravitating to, to Frankie, the robot. And then all the, the girls, like, the cute little, the figure little stuffed reindeer chopper. Um, yeah, that was good. I like that. Uh, and it kind of thing with like the, the thread of one piece, like whenever something happens with Frankie, it's on the crew. I, I love that. You get that reaction, you know. Usually like Usopp, Chopper and Luffy losing their minds and then you see, <laughs> you see Nami and Robin just standing there, just baffled. Like, why? <laughs> what, do you, what do you like about this? Um, but yeah. So, questions. More questions. Hopefully in this next episode, 
uh, it'll, it'll be explained more. We'll get some. We'll get some uh, answers. I really want to see this master and find out more about him. But I was hoping that we we're going to get some smoker in this episode as well. I want because the, the way they said it, like he was smoker was close because they they reported to the master that the ships were there basically, or that they were they were close to being there. So I'm hoping next episode we're going to see some smoker and Tashigi on the island. Right? So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.